On March 5th of this year, fans woke up to reports that Shiny's Taemin had left SM Entertainment after 16 years of being in the company. Reports from SPO TV News and YTN said that both Taemin and Onu wouldn't be renewing their individual contracts, and in response to this, SM gave a pretty vague statement that read, While future plans remain unconfirmed for the pair, they are actively considering various options. They also confirmed that Taemin's contract would be expiring this month. Everyone was shocked, to say the least. Taemin is one of the most notable artists under SM, so for him to leave after 16 years of being in the company was unexpected. Korean netizens were especially surprised since, according to them, Taemin had been treated and promoted well by the company, so there's no reason for him to leave. Some comments on online forums said, huh, why, weren't they pretty good at pushing him? They also match well with Taemin's concept. But on the other hand, many international fans claimed that his schedules had not been handled well, so it's difficult to make a conclusion out of that. But let's focus on the real questions here, though. Why is Taemin leaving the company? One of the most ridiculous theories that are flowing around is that Taemin got convinced to leave the company by none other than Baek Hyun. If you remember, back in June of last year, Baek Hyun, Chen, and Seumin filed a lawsuit against SM to terminate their exclusive contracts with the company. Instead of admitting that they might not have been treating the members as well as they deserve to be treated, SM went on and accused outside forces of trying to poach the artists. In their statement, they mentioned that the three members were given incorrect information, false court papers, and unreasonable offers. They also mentioned that these outside influences were using rumors, defamation, and manipulation to force their artists to break their exclusive contracts or sign multiple contracts, which are clearly illegal. Additionally, these outside influences were said to be targeting more of their SM's artists after reaching out to a few initially. While SM didn't mention any names or point fingers at anyone in their statement, Ilgon Sports reported that SM sent a notice to Big Planet Made, where MC Mong was said to work as an internal director. They did this because they found evidence that officials from Big Planet Made were trying to convince the three members to join their company and had even met up with them. While these reports turned out to be completely false, people still weren't happy that Big Planet Made was being involved in this in the first place. So how does all this relate to Taemin? Well, when the news of Taemin leaving the company came out, there were also reports that he was going to sign with Big Planet Made. There's no confirmation on this, though, as the label has yet to verify whether they're signing him as an artist or not, while Taemin hasn't addressed the report either. However, netizens, as well as Taemin's fans themselves, are seriously hoping that these are just rumors and that Taemin will decide to sign with any other agency. If you didn't know, Big Planet Made is home to artists such as Viviz, Lee Mujin, Ha Sung Woon, and others, but netizens primarily associate it with its co-founder, MC Mong. The netizens' distaste of him dates back to 2010, when MC Mong was accused of pulling out healthy teeth to avoid military service. While he was cleared of the duty, he received a suspended six-month jail term and one-year probation for intentionally delaying enlistment. Considering how serious South Korea Koreans are when it comes to their mandatory enlistment, MC Mong's alleged stunt to avoid it wasn't received well and left quite a dent in his reputation. He also recently got fined for not showing up in court for the trial about the coin listing kickback case. Because of his controversies, MC Mong isn't heavily involved with the company anymore as their executive director, at least not on paper. Despite the company's claims that he has since resigned from his position, many netizens think he still controls the company from behind the scenes, arguing that he probably isn't officially listed because of his past controversies. Due to MC Mong's past, many netizens aren't a big fan of BPM and think that Taemin would just ruin his career if he really were to go there. Not only that, but fans of artists under BPM have long complained that the company doesn't treat the idols right. Let's take Ren from New East as an example. For around a month, his profiles on music streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music as well as YouTube and Amazon have been hacked. Despite fans' best efforts to alert the company and resolve the issue, they haven't been successful. A fan also mentioned their disappointing experience at Ren's fan concert, noting that there was only a crumpled banner of him in the waiting room which they felt was unprofessional. Overall, there have been some complaints about how they market and promote their artists, and since Taemin was already facing some problems in SM, he doesn't need to go through the same treatment in another company. Additionally, people think that since BPM has only been an official company for three years, they don't have the resources to handle an artist of Taemin's caliber, but of course, these are just people's assumptions. However, there's people arguing otherwise. First of all, Taemin's fans are convinced that he would have thought through his decision, so there's no need to be worried. He has an experience of 16 years and wouldn't choose a company that he thought wouldn't treat him 
him right. Secondly, a lot of people have also argued that BPM isn't that bad of a company that everyone is making it to be. A Twitter user mentioned that Vivas have frequent comebacks and have a lot of releases in less than two years as well as regular schedules. Another user wrote, For Vivas, the managers are nice, the girls are very happy, and the makeup and styling has been better than what Vivas has ever been getting. Additionally, as far as we have seen, the artists under BPM have been releasing great music, even if the promotions have been lackluster. Knowing that Taemin has probably considered everything before supposedly choosing to sign with them, maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing for Taemin to be an artist under them. A counterpoint that a lot of his fans have been making, though, is that this could be all media play from SM's side. As we mentioned, when the report of him joining BPM came out, an insider went on to claim that Baekhyun had been the one to convince him to join the company and leave SM. This caused Baekhyun, BPM, MC Mong, and even Taemin to receive a lot of hate. Following the news of his departure, many believe SM has been orchestrating a big smear campaign to sway public opinion against all parties involved. Considering that Baekhyun sued SM last year and established his own company to manage his solo activities, it wouldn't be surprising for SM to try to involve him in matters that could result in public backlash. There's also a lot of similarities between how the events unfolded when the EXO members filed the lawsuit and when Taemin left. Both times the news leaked before the artists could address the fans and break the news themselves. This then led them trying to calm the fans down and clarify everything. Also, there were rumors of external forces trying to poach them, and then a ton of online forum posts praising SM and the members who renewed their contracts. Also, both times, the leaders of each respective group had to reassure fans and urge them to trust the members. So as you can see, it appears that there are way too many similarities between the two cases. But why is BPM being involved in this mess after all? Well, considering that they were already accused of poaching the EXO members, it would be more likely to believe that they were trying to pull the same thing again, but now with Taemin. Moreover, recent conflicts have surfaced between BPM and Kakao, the largest shareholder in SM, which might explain the company's animosity towards them. To explain what's going on, on March 4th, BPM revealed they filed a complaint with the Fair Trade Commission in January against Kakao Entertainment, accusing them of unfair practices in distributing music royalties. According to them, Kakao Entertainment allegedly charges much higher distribution fees to independent agencies compared to its own affiliates. Per BPM's claims, regular agencies pay around 20% in distribution fees, while Kakao Entertainment affiliates pay only 5 to 6%. This difference not only affects fair competition, but also harms smaller players in the industry due to Kakao Entertainment's dominance. Kakao, as expected, denied the accusations, stating that music distribution fees are determined by different factors. However, BPM are stuck with them as they can't technically terminate their contract with Kakao despite wanting to. Since the 2021 contract between the two parties is still valid, Kakao rejected BPM's request to put an end to it. But leaving the issues between BPM, SM, and Kakao behind, it appears that Taemin's reason for leaving isn't related to poaching or Baekhyun whatsoever, it's because SM isn't treating him right. The most recent incident which shows this is Taemin's inability to perform his hit song Guilty at year-end shows. In a live stream, Taemin mentioned that he wanted to perform the song at these shows, so he felt really sad when he realized that it wouldn't happen. Fans blamed SM Entertainment for not making it possible for an artist like Taemin to perform at an award show. Even Yeonjun from TXT performed Guilty, but not Taemin, and even though this is not Yeonjun's fault, this felt like a slap in the face to the fans. It's also scandalous that Taemin has never had a world tour, and even if he has performances, SM books him smaller venues as if he has no selling power. Moreover, there was the criminal fiasco a few years back, during which Taemin expressed frustration because a teaser of his upcoming song was unexpectedly disclosed on his reality show Rare Tem. He said, My plans have collapsed. I'm so upset. It's the kind of song that shouldn't have given a first impression like this. It's really so depressing. That era in general was a disaster. His comeback date kept being pushed, and when it finally happened, it overlapped with Super M's release and it was poorly promoted. The best possible explanation for this is that there's too many problems with SM, so it's not at all surprising that so many artists are jumping ship. Girls Generation Sunny, Super Juniors Donghae, Eunhyuk and Kyu Hyun, EXO's D.O., Chen Shuman and Baekhyun, and finally Taemin and Onu. Conflicts within Lee Suman's family, along with complications regarding the company's shares and other issues that we're probably not aware of, have led to the artists parting ways, despite having no previous intentions to do so. So for people to act like the only reason that Taemin is leaving is a master plan between BPM and Baekhyun is an insult to everyone's intelligence, especially considering how much importance Taemin puts in his craft. At this point, it's important to trust and support him in whatever he chooses to do because he knows exactly what he's doing and he would never let the fans down.